All eyes turned to National Shield action for teams in the regional leagues, and in the round of 32 there was a fierce border derby between Langham and Hoyklandine. Both of these sides have had a bit of a bland league season, so the exciting prospect of a cup run was mouth-watering for both clubs. Langham play in East League One, which is a league higher than their Lindian opponents, but it was the men in blue who took the early points following the bulk of possession and territory as Owen Gray slotted two penalties for an early 6-0 lead. This gave Langham the wake-up call that they needed, and they soon had a dominant period up the other end. The outcome of their attack was a converted try when standoff Bailey Donaldson reached out to touch down with Nathan Smith converting. Another Lindian penalty took them out to nine points before Langham once again went hard on attack and after a few phases of tight plays, the ball was shipped wide where Smith was able to cross over for the second score. Lindine were very much still in the game but an error at the back was capitalised on by Jamie Gormley who grabbed the third try in brilliant individual fashion. This score was really frustrating from a Lindine point of view but for Langham it gave them real confidence and control. The last five minutes of the first half was total carnage for the Lindine. Three separate yellow cards and a penalty try put them in an even worse position as two high tackles and a stamping incident saw them have to play with even bigger holes in their defence. The penalty try was an automatic seven-pointer, giving Langham a 28 points to nine lead at the break. Into the second half, the Langham attack did not slow down and Callum Jeffrey was the next name on the score sheet as he crossed over for the fifth try after some clever running by Captain Smith and a well-executed offload. Smith then got his second of the afternoon with an unconverted try through more individual skill, following a scrum and attacking position, beating the last defender as the weather took a turn at the Volunteer Park. Hoyklandine will take pride in the way that they never give up throughout this game, and they did manage to get a try through Dom Kubicki, which was converted to take them to 16 points. Langham also received a yellow card as Tom Hope was sent to the bin, but it didn't make much of a difference as there was still time for more tries before the full-time whistle. Nathan Smith completed his hat-trick with another nice bit of individual play following a crossfield kick by Bailey Donaldson before Josh Duffy rounded off the scoring with a try at the death, which was Langham's eighth of the afternoon and which was a one-sided game after the opening 20 minutes. Langham will now progress into the third round whilst the Lindian will have to regroup and take their learnings from playing a team from the league above. Full-time at the Volunteer Park, Hoyk Lindian 16, Langham 50. Nathan, a, a big win in the Shield. You must be super happy with that. Yeah, buzzing. Uh, once we saw the draw and we realised it was going to be done to Lindeen, I won't lie, we were hoping it was going to be Hoyk Lindeen. Um, for years, it's been our biggest fixture, so to have missed it this year would have been a bit of a bummer, but to come up here, these are the games you want to play in. Packed stand and beat your rivals like that, yeah, class. Yeah, it was sloppy to begin with. We, It's just the lack of game time. We're not we're not up to speed with how referees are wanting to, to ref the game. A few easy penalties let them into our half and then the kick penalties and they build up a 9-0 lead. But we spoke about just kind of leaving off in defence, not going poaching for ball and, and getting ball back in the tackle, getting down their end and scoring. It proved proved to work in the end. Um, just managed to get ball up this end and our hands and stuff are class. Like We're into running rugby, that's what we're about. And uh, once we get going with the backs and stuff, it's just tries to fall in. Ah, it was... And the scoreline reflects the game for us, to be to be honest, Ken. We were really good in phases. First 10 minutes, we were playing some amazing rugby. Took a 9-0 lead, but, Ken, at the end of the day, we've done silly mistakes. We've got silly yellows. Three players off the pitch at the same time on yellow cards. There's nothing much more you can do when you have a player like Bailey Donaldson who can just find spaces as easy as that. But, Ken, I can't really fault the boys' effort. We tried really hard there. We've been... Looking forward to this game for a while. Obviously, the scoreline doesn't reflect how well we played, like, but at the end of the day, it is what it is.